it is the elite of the elite. Welcome to Joker's Underground. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Joker J coming at you with episode 34 of Joker's Underground. This is the last, last, I gotta turn this down, gonna get some echoing going on. This is the last show of the main roster before we kick off Joker Mania, which is this Saturday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Every single title will be defended. So this is also the last stop for the retirement tour of T-Monster as he will face the great one, Jonathan Justice, in our main event tonight. And then he will go on to Joker Mania to defend his title against none other than Josh Kane. T-Monster has picked the stipulation and picked his competitor for his retirement match here on JJI. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into, get into this show. And thank you, Eager, for that. And thank you all for everyone that tuned in. I appreciate showing the love here. And we are live in Houston, Texas for the Go Home Show. All right, our first match is a 1v1 match as we have Sister Abigail going up against CJ Riley. And... Bets are live. Place your estimation. Bet space 0 for CJ. 1 for Cesar Abigail. 5 minutes. Space minus from 1 to 1,000. Jokers. Always got to have jokers to place your bets and check your jokers. Exclamation. Jokers. That's awesome, Tigray. We are in your home city then for tonight's show. Got to put an S at the end. There you go. And I noticed earlier that I was dropping frames like crazy, so I hope I'm not going to continue dropping these frames. Because I noticed I was dropping frames like crazy uh, during the starting soon screen, so hopefully that has been fixed. Making her way down to the ring. She has over a record of two wins in eight. Uh, losses. She is CJ Riley. All right, Eager. Thanks for letting me know. I think since last time you tune in, Eager, the stream has even updated some more and been upgraded. Because I don't think last time you tune in, I don't think. I was using uh, the system I'm using now, or the overlay. But I'm glad to see you. It's funny because yesterday I was just talking about you. You'll hear it in the VOD if you watch it. I said, man, because your character had, or not yesterday, uh, Monday, or Saturday, your character was defending his title. And I'm like, man, I haven't seen this guy in a while. And if he don't show up, he's going to be released. And then here you are. You must have, your ears must have been ringing. And Fire is signed to Season 4. She is sitting backstage. She really enjoys watching the women wrestle here on JJI.
Fire is actually going to be part of the roster as well, part of the women's division next season. Making her way down to the ring. She has over a record of four wins and three losses. She is former Queen of Summer. She is Sister Abigail. And breaking news, I have just signed another competitor for season four. Um, so, his name is Rogue. Uh. What is up, Radcore? Thank you for that follow. Welcome, Joke Jays Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. Glad to see you tune in. Havoc don't need friends, Joker. How disrespectful. Havoc's been a while. <laughs> I was gone. Yeah, Havoc actually has... He, he got the right momentum at the right time, Eager. That's what happened. He got the right momentum at the right time. This last four weeks or so, he's really put on his shows, really up his matches. And now he's men's Intercontinental Champion. And we'll be defending that at Joker Mania. Uh, I don't know his opponent yet, though. We will probably find out at the end of this show. I'm doing good, Radcore. How about yourself? Glad to see you tune in. Sponge told me about you. <laughs> Glad to see you around, though. Sponge informed me you were uh, kind of feeling under the weather a little. Those ring matches are waiting. This 1v1 match. We got Carnival Type. Sister Abigail transitions into a side headlock against CJ Riley. As a matter of fact, Sponge and I talked on the phone through Discord for like five hours one night. It was ridiculous. I have, I don't even talk that long with my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, schoolboy. And CJ kicks out for the ref can't even start his count. That's good, Radcore. I I don't know the details and uh, you know, but I'm I'm glad to see you're doing better. Cause uh, Sponge mentioned that he was uh you were under the weather a little. And since I've got misses with the clothesline. Oh, a basement drop kick to the knee, and Sister Abigail is down, followed by a stomp to the shoulder. Big old left jab by uh, CJ to Sister showing her strength, picks up CJ, and just woman handles her and slams her down onto the canvas. Stomp to the wrist. And now Sister's going to work on the arm of CJ. Ladies and gentlemen, Joker make sure you give Radcore a follow. He has his own EFED as well. Make sure you give him a follow. He's also a BBF. Aff I think you're a BBF affiliate, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. I might be mistaken. I probably am mistaken. <laughs> CJ brings up Sister. Sister fights back with the elbow to the midsection. Big old kick to the side of the face. CJ is down. CJ brings, or sorry, Sister brings CJ up. CJ reverses with a quick right jab to the top of the head. Kick to the midsection. Sister Abigail obviously has the height advantage. But CJ looks like she's going to handle Sister Abigail in this match here. Stomp to the shoulder once again. CJ drags Sister towards the middle of the ring. Looks like she's going for a submission. Oh, no. Ooh, ow. No, she is not. She's just trying to pop that leg, uh, that hip out of socket. Oh, what a super kick into the Florida Keys. Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. And now CJ is lining up Sister to put this one away. This match could be over rather quickly. She might have it. CJ hits Sister Abigail with Sister Abigail. And that could be it for Sister Abigail. CJ goes for the pin. We got a one. We got a two. And no, Sister Abigail kicks out at two. And CJ is arguing with the ref. Though she wasn't looking at the ref, but she was arguing with him. Yes, Eager, what I'm doing for Season 4 is every uh, uh, follower can have one male, one female, and a tag team. So if you want to have one male, one female, and a female tag team, or one male, one female, and a male tag team, I'm doing that because uh, we're introducing some new divisions into Season 4. Uh, we're having a men's and women hardcore division that's getting added, as well as the men's and women um, 
tag team titles. Now, the women's tag team titles are coming back from season two when I had that all women's show. We had a, a female tag team titles, but now they're coming back for season four. And on top of that, if you, you remember the JJ Broadcast Championship, we now have a women's JJ Broadcast Championship. So women's are really going to be put in the spotlight during season four. Um, Havoc for Havoc himself he's already on the main roster so he'll stay at the main roster um for any of your new um competitors that you want to upload they will be uh defaulted at uh nerfed for uh, abilities and for or for overall and for the abilities you can have three level one abilities of any choosing that you want um and then once they get moved up to main roster they'll jump up to 100 and then they can have five whatever level ability they want so, but yes, yeah, so j pretty much the requirement is uh, it'll be overall will be nerfed. Um, so even if you don't uh, change the overall, I will. And you can have three level one abilities for um, your characters that's going to be on developmental show. Um, because they're going to be new to season four, that's why. Um, if it's a someone who's been on JGI for a while, they automatically get moved up to the main roster for season four. And then they'll change from three to five and overall from 84 to 100. So hopefully that makes sense. And what you can do is we still have that form. I don't know if you remember that form from last season, but we still have that form. So if um, if you don't want to upload your character using the hashtag JJI, because maybe your character is already uploaded, just fill out that form and let me know the hashtags. If your character is not uploaded, then um, make sure they get uploaded with the hashtag uh, JJI, so that way I can find them. And what a left. They are outside the ring. The ref has started his count. And season four, like I said, season three ends this weekend. Actually, this Saturday is the last pay-per-view, the last show for season three. And then uh, I'll be taking, I'll be moving. That's the reason why I'm, I got to take a break because I'm moving out of state. Um, and then uh, probably mid to late September, season four will kick off. So that gives you some time. I would like for you to get your character in as soon as possible, though, um, because I'm going to start doing the tournaments for the inaugural champions uh, this weekend after season three is over with. Um, but if you can't, you know, you'll have till season four starts um, to get your character uploaded. And then, of course, even after it starts, I can I, if I have to I'll download some randoms and just delete the randoms until I get everyone filled. So. And actually, Eager, for the first time, I had a person tune into my stream and complain that I had their character on my show without their permission. It was a random character that I downloaded off Community Creations, been on the show since the beginning of the season, and they tuned in and then went on Twitter and called me out. And we got another pin. We got a one to two, and CJ kicks out. What a match between these two. Yeah, she was not happy, that, or he whatever they were were not happy that i had their character on my show without their permission i'm like it was a random i needed a spot filled you know and says abigail once again hits the same move as before goes for the pin again this time it might be over and sister abigail is your winner well i think what it was is because her character actually lost because she didn't say anything or he didn't say anything until after the match and then when their character lost, then they didn't want their character on my show anymore. I honestly think that's what it was. But she, they called me out on Twitter. I responded. I said, listen, I'll just delete your character. And I deleted it. I had two of their characters, and I deleted both of them. Like, we'll just move on. I mean, huh. I say... You've been a jerk a lot. Yes, you have been a jerk a lot of the time, Eager. I do have to say, though, you have, you have, at least on my stream, you have really straightened up. So, because you came on my stream like you did fix the stream as a troll, and then you really kind of straightened up and just hasn't been tuning in, though. <laughs> Well, I look at it this way. If your character is on Community Creations and you don't have a description only for whatever fed or only for this particular person, then I'm going to, if I need it, I'm going to download it. If, it, and, and on top of that, their character was an old character because I went back to Community Creations and they had re-upgraded a new character. So they didn't have that character on anymore, on Community Creations. So that's what really threw me for a loop. 
But if you have a description somewhere only for a specific, I won't download them. But if you put on there, you, if you don't have it on there, then I'll go ahead and download them. So, all right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember from earlier this week, Joker Quinn was carted out on a stretcher after JJ hit him with a massive knee and then JJ attacked him while he was on the stretcher. And if you did not see that, make sure you check the VOD from episode 30, what was it? Episode 33. Maybe check out, but Joker has made a comeback. Um, he is here. He only, I don't know what happened, but I guess the doctor's cleared him. So now he's looking for a bit of revenge. So we got JJ Styles versus Joker Quinn in a 1v1 match. And that's our live place for estimation bet space zero for JJ Styles or one for Joker Quinn. Five by nurse space minus from one to a thousand Jokers. I don't know the status of Joker Quinn. I don't know if he's a hundred percent. But yes, he is. He was carted off last week, or actually, what's today? Today's Monday. He was carted off Saturday, and now he's back. So actually, only two days. So we will see what his status quo is. Making his way down to the ring. He has overall record of one win and two losses. He is a former men's intercontinental champion. He is JJ Styles. One thing about role play, I learned win or lose, you have to make the best bet. Exactly, Tigray. Exactly. And you can't fire transition that way. Exactly. I mean, just kind of move on. And Eager's like, I would feel honored for someone to randomly download. Right. I would if someone randomly. I know my character's been randomly downloaded because I don't have. My Josh Kane is only on three or four E feds and it has like 10 downloads. So, I mean. Well, Eager, you said that last time, so I do hope that you uh, you are more active. I would I would like to see you come in more. You were active for a while, and then you kind of disappeared, and now you're trying to come back. So I would like to see you around more, as long as you behave, because I I'll be quick to time you out. Don't get, don't count me out for that. <laughs> Making his way down to the ring. He has overall record of five wins and five losses. He is Joker Quinn. So far since I've been on Twitch, I've only had to ban one person. I only had I've had to time out a few, but I've only had to ban one person. Joker looks good after being carted off at the end of or at the end of episode 33. So it looks like Joker's walking normally, so maybe he he's healed. Maybe it wasn't as serious as the doctors thought. We will find out in his match, though, that's for sure. No, Havoc will... Havoc... Um, if, you're, if you're updating Havoc, Havoc will be able to have five uh, whatever level abilities that you want. So, but your other characters, because they'll be new to JGI, they have to have three level ones. But I'm telling you what, if Havoc is not built like a freaking monster, like Braun Strowman, you will not be allowed to have a movable object or a movable force, whatever the fuck it's called. I would, I would delete that ability, just so you know. <laughs> That was ring. The match is underway. Well, eager. Even if you have ninety-four made characters, I can always def. I can always ner uh, nerf the uh, the uh, overall. Um, that's no problem. Just focus on the abilities and the move set. Um, I can nerf the overall. Um, so you don't have to worry about doing that. But if you want to create like an 
whole new character or whatever, you know, make sure they are um, at that point. And Joker really taking it to JJ. Joker did not take kindly to being carted off after that big old knee by JJ at the end of episode 33. And he did not like JJ using the stretcher against him. And Joker's now taking it to JJ. Stomp to the wrist. Because when I get a character, whenever I get a character, a uh, new character, I will check. I check their move set to make sure they don't have a finisher for every single one of their moves. I check their abilities. I check their overall. And um, I check their height and weight. If your guy, if you have a guy that's five foot nine and you have him weighing at 700 pounds and he looks like John Cena, yeah, no, we're not having that. I will change his weight. <laughs> and what a DDT by Joker too, JJ. I didn't even know, honestly, I didn't even know you could have all finishers for a move set until um, one, uh, actually until Sponge. Um, he he runs another e fed until he told me that he's had some characters with uh, that stuff. Um, so now I'm I've I've checked all the characters that will be signed for season four, and none of them have an all finisher move set. If they do, I will give them a default move set and call it good. So. And now Joker's going to take a rest playing mind games mind games with JJ. Joker's really dominating JJ this match. Look at that. Big old right knocks JJ all the way down to the ringside area on the go-home show before Joker Mania. We, we will be live again tomorrow at 4 p.m. for developmental brand. Yeah, and if you're doing all power bombs, I will be changing the moveset, and I will put it at default moveset. Actually... I'll even do one better. I'll put it at like, you know, I'll give it the, I'll look to see who has the lowest overall as far as the superstars, WWE superstars on the the game, and they will get that move set. That's what I'll do if you try pulling a stunt like that. Run it knee to, or jump a knee to the face of Joker. Ref stops counting. Now JJ going for the pin. We got a one, and Joker kicks out at one. And then when they tune in, like, why is my character sucking? Well, because you tried giving him an all finisher, all power by move set. Not happening on my show. I'm sorry. We got to make this as real. You know, one thing about my show is I want to be as realistic as possible, which is why I don't have too many fantasy, fantasy characters, um, and why they will not have a move set like a ridiculous move set like that. And Joker just flings JJ over his shoulder, now playing to the crowd. Joker, man, he looks good after getting carted out last week. Yeah. Exactly, Eager. The ref started his count. JJ with, a, I believe it was just a slap to the jawline of Joker. And now the rights. And Joker responds with a right of his own. Oh, what a kick by Joker. JJ is down. The ref's count is up to four. Joker grabs JJ, walks him over to the apron, slams him face first onto the hardest part of the apron. Or hardest part of the ring, that apron. And now JJ tosses Joker into the ring, and the ref stops his count at seven as both competitors are back inside the square circle. Oh, what a drop kick, and Joker's down. And by the way, there has been some confusion. Joker Quinn is not my character. I did not make Joker Quinn. Chuck Chalk Chad made Joker Quinn. And now we got a pin. We got a one. We got a two. And Joker gets his revenge. I have a feeling there's going to be a rubber match at Joker Mania. They're each one and one. There's going to be a rubber match. And now Joker... With the hard fought victory. And now JJ. And JJ is still going. Oh, Joker dodges JJ. Joker. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a round three. There has to be. There has to be. JJ once again tried sneak attack and Joker after the match.
Don't change that channel. We have Ladies and gentlemen, we have another 1v1 match. We got Josh Kane going up against the Fixer. And bets are live. Place your estimation bet space zero for Josh or one for the Fixa. Five hundred space earners for one to a thousand jokers. Actually, I think this is a first time match between these two. And you know, Josh Kane is going to have his wife Ruby Kane in his corner. Yeah, I have a feeling. I think at Joker Mania, we're going to have the rubber match between JJ and Joker. Because JJ once again tried sneak attacking um, Joker. And last time he did that, Joker got carted off. This time, Joker was prepared for it. Actually, I'm putting that down right now. Rubber match at Mania. So that way I make sure I schedule it. Sneak attack so foul. Yeah, JJ, he he turned heel when he attacked Joker episode 33. And now JJ is still heel. Making his way down to the ring. He has overall singles record of four wins and only one loss. He is one quarter of the Blood Brothers faction, Blood Brothers Federation faction. He is one quarter of the Joker's Royal Tag Team Champions. He is a former JGI Broadcast Champion. He is Josh Kane. And Josh Kane is being accompanied by his wife, Miss Mrs. Ruby Kane. Break news, Havoc is a tweener. <laughs> Fire rooting Josh Kane in backstage area. And this Josh Kane is Season 3 Josh Kane. I have actually updated Josh Kane for Season 4. And I'm going to tell you what. I have him... I focused on his moveset. I spent an hour to two hours on his moveset alone. Because typically I never focus on the moveset. And you can actually see sneak peeks of Season 4 Josh Kane on um, SCW, on um, NWO, and I believe on Fun Sponge and Rad Quartz. Uh, do uh, co stream. I do believe. I don't know if they download him on there. Making his way down to the ring. He has over a record of seven wins, 12 losses in a draw. He is a former king of winter. He is a former king of spring. He is a former Joker's World Heavyweight Champion. He is the founder and general manager of FWE. He is the Fixer. Yeah, and see, I never, honestly, out of the four years, well, going to be four years I've been doing this, and I've had my characters in, in EFETs, I never once focused on the moveset. Never once. And this time I did, because I was tired of Josh Kane losing all the time on other EFETs. I got tired of being uh, a, a jobber. <laughs> Yeah, Fixa has done. Actually, he lost when T Monster mentioned that he was retiring in December. And because my season ends this Saturday, he's going to retire from JJI before he retires from the e other E Feds. T Monster and the Fixa went at it for the world title, and T Monster walked away with it. First ever world title for T Monster. Bells ring, the match is underway, and Josh Kane misses wildly with the clothesline. Got a counter double top, and Josh Kane backs Fixa up against the turnbuckles. Yeah, I was in one heat for both Tiger and Fire. It was, Tigger and Fire it was a waste of time. Yeah. Well, I always, I always have one male, one female, always, and then I have like my own general manager type character, I guess you want to call him. And so Josh Kane and Ruby Kane are on other efeds. So I always have one male, one female because a lot of efeds has troubles getting females for their show. So I always try to make sure I have at least one female to kind of help that roster. And then I give them the option. I say, you can download both Josh or Ruby, or you can just download, you know, the female. I don't care. The fire you've seen in the new version is way better than the old. Yeah, I, I, I have not watched her in a mash yet. But I did I did went go through the entrances. Um, 
And the reason why I went through the entrances is because a lot of these characters, especially in Season 3, has, like, the flashing lights. And there might be someone sensitive to flashing lights. So I try to go through the entrances just to see how the lights are. So that way I can give a, a flash light warning at the beginning of their entrance. So people who are sensitive to flashing lights can look away. So that's why I always look at the entrances of all the characters. Josh Kane picks up the fixer up and drops him on his head. And yes, we here at JGI do not tolerate any type of racism, harassment, political talk, or discussion of ages. If you are found to be discussing any of these things in chat or whispers, the mods are I will punish you the way we seem fit. Mods do have final say. You will not argue what they punish you at, and if you do, you will be purged. I'm going to be adding one of my favorite characters. His name is Old Man Jenkins. All right, what is up, Rogi Rogue? How are you doing? Let me give the Rogi Rogue a shout out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not followed the Rogi Rogue, make sure you give him a follow. He is the owner of SCW. I just talked about SCW earlier in um, the show. He is the founder of SCW. Um, and like I said, you can see the updated Josh Kane for season four on his show. If you would like, he also stream other things such as uh, Potato Craft, I think is what he calls it, Minecraft. Um, and Rogue Company and, and things like that. So make sure you give him a follow. Autocorrect, you suck. Yes. You should have saw mine and Dirty Little Hamster's DM on Discord. Oh, my God. Me and him both were struggling with autocorrect. And the fixer whips Josh into the ropes and then grabs his wrist, puts it in a hammer lock. And Josh spawns back with the rights to the ribs of the fixer. Josh King grabs the fixer. And for those of you that don't know, T-Monster's last match will be against this Josh Kane. Um, that is what T-Monster wanted for his retirement match at Joker Mania. And Joker Mania is this Saturday at 4 p.m. So make sure you mark your calendars for that. And that's 4 p.m. Central. For those of you that's not in uh, Central Time Zone. Oh, oh and Josh yeah. completely missed. The Ray Bastion is evading with a party of five. What is up, Ray? We got a Raider. What is up? How are you doing? I don't know if I still have the... I do not. I do... Oh, I do! Exclamation defend! Exclamation defend, ladies and gentlemen. Exclamation defend! We we defend the Raider here. Oh, no. Joker's defend has been... Thank you for these follows. Oh, man. Who, who, who all follow me? We got CFC, Luru... Who else? Who else? Uh, The Ray... I didn't see everyone that follow. Thank you for those follows. How are you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in. Breaking news. After the PBV, if Havoc keeps his belt, he is setting up an open challenge. All right. I like that. We don't have too many open challenges. And thank you for that follow, Ray. This is episode 34. It is of the main roster. It is the go-home show before Joker Mania, which is this time. And Fixa gets the win on Josh. How are y'all doing? Thank you for that raid. I appreciate that. And the fix it gets the victory there. <laughs> You're rich now. Yeah, <laughs> you bet like T Monster does, Eager. I'm the only rich person. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not familiar with JGI, this is Joker's Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Den. Just finished up the second episode of The Core. Awesome, awesome. I'll have to check the VOD out on that. Thank you, I appreciate that. Honestly, you want to know something, Ray? You guys are the first people to raid me since I've been on Twitch. You are the first official raid of JJI. Or raid to JJI, however you want to word it. Thank you for that. This is the main roster. I have two shows. I have Joker's Underground and I have Joker's Invite. Joker's Underground is the main roster. It's a co-ed main roster. And Joker's Invite is a co-ed developmental show. And you are watching this um, the, the main roster show. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 1v1 match again as we got J. Cole going up against 
<laughs> Ray broke his Ray Virginia on Twitch. Awesome. Awesome. I will allow that. Freaking, what is it, CloudBot or whatever you are. And bets are live. Place your estimation bet space zero for J or one for James. Five bar space mount you bets from one to a thousand jokers. And for those of you that are unfamiliar, jokers is the virtual currency we use. And the minute you follow me, you automatically get 100 jokers. Do so you want to check your jokers? Exclamation jokers if you would like to bet on this match. I'm popping cherries of every kind. Ah, <laughs> Ray. <laughs> Thank you for that raid, though. Much love. I appreciate it. That's the first time I've ever seen my raid alert. Honestly, I have never seen my raid alert. <laughs> I've had that raid alert for almost like, well, actually for a while now, even when I was on Mixer. And that's the first time I've seen it. I'm glad it works. <laughs> Making his way down to the ring. He has overall record of 10 wins and 8 uh, losses. He is Jay Cole. And yes, for those of you with the uh, that have been tuned in to JJ, I actually, when we get another raid, Excavation defend. We defend. We defend here. We have to. Or they'll just take over our show like they just did. <laughs> But thank y'all for the raid. I appreciate it. Much love. Much love. Yep, see right there. Oh, no. Joker's Inn has been compromised. We must defend. Members of Joker's Inn heads deep into the den and pull out anything we can find to defend against these raiders. So, yes, I do have a command for that. I had a command for that on Mixer as well, but we never used it. <laughs> SCW takeover. Yeah, pretty much. Damn, Joker J is more prepared than Rogue and Ray of Records. You want to know why? Honestly, if you're part of my Discord, a matter of fact, if you're not part of my Discord, join my Discord. I actually have a link on there. It's a spreadsheet on Google Sheets, and I have everyone's character, um, their record, uh, what title they hold, um, what their overall is, and who makes their character. So I, I have a spreadsheet. <laughs> So make sure you join the Discord if you're not part of the Discord. Making his way down to the ring. He has overall record of seven wins and six losses. He is a former JJI broadcast champion. He is the founder of JJI. He is James the Jester. And you know how earlier, Eager, I was talking about I always have one male, one female, and then I have just a random character? James the Jester is like that GM character. You know, just the owner character. He really don't compete too much. Um, he's been competing a lot lately because he was King of Summer for a while. And J.J. Brock. No, he was never J.J. He was King of Summer. So he competed a lot during that. So that's only, before he won the King of Summer championship, he was like, he had his records like, <laughs> like 1-0. and oh, And it was like, <laughs> that was the only match he had all season. <laughs> If you ever need a face that runs your place to cover athletes for Jokers Underground, I can have Ray to run the top. <laughs> nice, Ray. Now, we we have a face that runs the place, and that's that guy right there you're seeing in the ring. <laughs> or entering the ring, I should say. But yeah, CJ, I, that's what I do. I have, um, I have records. And if you guys would like to have your character, now we're approaching the end of Season 3, um, but I am accepting characters for Season 4. So if you would like to have your character on Season 4 of JGI, just fill out that form if you have it uploaded already. If you don't, just upload with the hashtag JGI. The form and the hashtag just kind of helps me find it. If you if you already have it uploaded, just fill out the form. If you don't have it uploaded, just upload with the hashtag JGI and let me know in Discord. You don't know if you want to put in a cruiser rate or heavyweight. Honestly, I don't think we have too many cruiser weights, but we don't have a cruiser weight division. So, I mean, you might as well just make it a heavyweight. I mean, we do have some high flyers, but we don't have a cruiser rate division because we don't have many cruiser weights. Just so you know, Eager. And also, if you join the Discord, make sure you check out all the channels. There's a channel on there called What is JJI? It's the very top channel. That gives you the history of JJI, where it came from and where it's at right now. Just a little history lesson. And Jester with the elbow to Jay. 
Oh, and a right gut punch. And Jay responds back with a left hook. Kick to the midsection into the DT. Into the pin combo. We got to know. James kicks out before the ref can even get down to start his count. All right, awesome, Eager. Hopefully, okay, Eager, I don't know if you remember. Do you remember Crip Keeper? He was a character on my show. I don't know if you remember him. Hopefully, he's not like him. <laughs> With the name Old Man Jenkins, you know. <laughs> And yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not heard about Ray's Energy, I highly suggest trying it. I have liked, I've tried all their flavors but grape, and I like every single one of their flavors. You can click that link down below, and if you happen to catch this on YouTube, the link is down in the description. And uh, make sure you check it out. If you do decide to get yourself some Ray's Energy, just use coupon code Joker's Den, and you'll get 15% off your whole order. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy. Actually, do. We don't need, yeah. Actually, Crypt Keeper has been released from JJ. It was released uh, last week, I think it was. So he was actually released because he hasn't tuned in in a while. And Jester slams a hand down on Jay. Jester brings Jay back up to a vertical base. And Jay responds with the chin buster. Kick to the midsection. Picks him up. Oh, what another DDT planting Jester. I mean, oh no, so sad. Tear, tear. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, I gotta get, get, get my water here. Tear. See? Tear. <laughs> and they have taken the outside. This is 1v1, so they can be counted out. Jester with the rights to Jay. He's really taking it to Jay right now. Jester grabs Jay, walks him over to the barricades, and slams him face first on the top of the barricade. Play, play the. You hear that? You hear that? It's the smallest violin. No, he was a good guy. I mean, Crypt Creeper, the, the maker of Crypt Creeper, he was a good guy. You know, I'm not talking smack about him in any. I don't talk smack about anyone. Um, he was a good guy. He just hasn't been around in a while. He was one of my Mixer followers that never transitioned over to Twitch when Mixer shut down. So, I mean, he, he was a good guy, you know. So, nothing against him. But his character was ridiculous. <laughs> it was a cross of Undertaker and Kane and like someone that like a gravekeeper you know so yeah he was a good guy but his character was kind of weird <laughs> so anyways Jay hooks up James and drops him down and a Pele to the top of the head I see that you did the jump scare but it didn't come through for whatever reason You think he wrecked my sounds? Yeah, it, it was working. <laughs> I got it right here. Let me. Uh, I just uh, re uh, refreshed it, so maybe it'll work next time. We'll see. Well, if a name wreck, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't wreck things. <laughs> And now we got rear naked chin lock by J to James the Jester. I don't know why it didn't work. WWE fans watching this match all around the world. <laughs> all right, Eager. Thank you. And um, if you come back, come back. <laughs> don't leave me, Eager. Don't leave me. I'm going to miss you. Not really. But yeah, make sure you tune back in. <laughs> and Jay is taking it to Jester. Jester's busted open. What an FS shot by Jay to Jester. Punch to the chin. And Jester lines up Jay and slams him down. I'm testing the sound right now. It worked that time. I don't know why you, yours didn't work. It worked that time because I tried that one. And James walks away with the dub, beating Jay. And what is this? What is this? Jay is waiting in the ring. That's Saint's music. You know Saint and Jay has some issues. And Saint comes from behind. Oh, what a clothesline takes on Jay. Saint and Jay has some issues. That rivalry will also be happening at Joker Mania. I'm going to make sure I mark that down.
What is up, Team Monster? Thank you for tuning in. How are you doing, Team Monster? Let me pay out these bets real quick before we move on. You know, I'm organized to an extent. Not fully organized. <laughs> Alright, we got a tag team. A 2v2 tag team. As we got the... Uh, Wesley and Alpha, the Joker's World Tag Team Champions of BBF, going up against Bad Meets Evil. This is a non-title match. And bets are live. Place your estimation bet space 0 for BBF or 1 for Bad Meets Evil. 500 space match for 1 to 1,000 Jokers. Again, this is a non-title match, so bets are not doubled. That's good, Team Monster. How was your day at work? I think I saw a picture. What was it? What pouring down rain or something? Where you were at? <laughs> CJ's not happy that the sound bit worked for me, but not for him. CJ, because it knows your history on SCW. That's why. That's why it did not work for you. <laughs> You will notice you will not find the don't push me button. You will not find it. <laughs> oh shit, what? CJ? <laughs> All right, Eager, I'll get him after stream today. I have a feeling someone clipped that one there. That's actually the first time that jump scares actually got me like that. Typically, it don't get me like that. <laughs> it got me that time. I think because I was too busy looking at the camera and not looking at chat, so I didn't see it before it played. Oh, Team Monster, just pop open a, a brewski and uh, sit back and relax. Making their way down to the ring, they are the Joker's World Tag Team Champions. They are the team of Alpha Wesley Wolf. They are the Blood Brothers Federation. That scare was better than Rogue's. I think because Rogue just got so used to you pushing it. That's why. <laughs> you don't have enough Jokers to update Havoc? I thought you were just making Havoc all together. So are you not making a new Havoc? You're keeping this Havoc but just want some updated? Is that what you're saying? We can, we can work something out. Um, do you have to have a character still or no? If not, I'll upload it to Community Creations. You can re-download it, update it, and then re-upload it if you want. You do have that, so just go ahead and update him, and then re-upload him, and I'll get him for Season 4, and then I'll delete this Havoc after Joker Mania. Making their way down to the ring. They have overall record of 6 wins, 13 losses in a draw. They are the team of uh, Bruiser Brody. Dirty Little Hamster. They are former Joker's World Tag Team Champions. They are Bad Meets Evil. Yeah, so if you still have the characters, just go ahead and update them and then re-upload them. Let me know on Discord. You don't need to fill out the form. Um, just let me know and, I'll, and just uh, on Discord as well as the hashtags he's under. And um, I will go ahead and get them. And then I'll go ahead and delete this Havoc after Joker Mania. Cause I don't want to, you know, change the havoc with him on a, you know, he's got momentum, and if, you know, if you change a character mid momentum, chances are they lose all that momentum. So, oh, okay, you did put him on JJ. All right, awesome. And this is a normal two v two match, but it is not for the tag team championships. But if Bad Meets Evil win this, they could be in line for the tag titles at Joker Mania. The bell is ringing, the match is, well, the bell has a ring, but the match is about to go underway. Now the bell has ringed, the match is underway. It looks like Wesley and Dirty Little Hamster are going to kick things off. And they run and stop right in front of one another. When Dirty Little Hamster manages to get an elbow, picks Wesley up, side slams. Goes for the stomp, Wesley rolls out of the way. Oh, and Wesley blocks the hand and then slaps the chest. That was heard in the nosebleed section. DDT connects. 
Stomp to the chest by Wesley to uh, Dirty. Head crank in place. Stomp to the face. Wesley grabs Dirty. And then what a knee, a big old knee. Elvis trying to get the crowd behind BBF. BBF, our fan favorite, so it won't be hard to get the crowd behind him. Wesley is a beast. And Wesley has re-upped for Season 4, so he will be part of Season 4. And yes, the next JJI pay-per-view is Joker Mania. It is the last pay-per-view of the season, and it is this Saturday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, what a slap, and Dirty's down. Dirty's trying to crawl over to Bruiser to get the pin. Wesley's going to keep him from getting the, the pin, the tag. Wesley picks up Dirty. Oh, and what a slam. Wesley brings Dirty back up to a vertical base. And now has the submission locked in place. Not very many competitors get out of this, but this could be a rope break. And it is a rope break. I wonder if Havoc is fighting today, but I want to be surprised if he is. And Wesley whips Dirty into BBF's corner. Now a stare down. Alpha talking smack into Dirty's ear. And Wesley's just staring him down. Some uh, mind games right there between BBF and Dirty. Yes, the claw. And we still got a stare down. Wesley, you swear to Jesus. Well, honestly, you, you got to look at it this way. And he has the claw locked in again. There has been a few competitors that's gotten out of the claw. Saint, who you saw attack J. Cole, is one of them. And Dirty passes out. What a quick match. Bruiser didn't even get in the match. I don't even think Betts has finished. Oh, Betts did finish. That was a quick match. And Dirty is not one of them. That is true. Dirty has yet to fight out of that the claw. That was very quick. Super quick. And BBF gets the victory, improving their record to 16 wins and only 8 losses. Havoc wants to fight Wesley now. <laughs> Alpha didn't get involved, neither did Bruiser. It was just straight Wesley and Dirty, and that was like five minutes, if that. Havoc, the fighting champ. All right, we have a 1v1 Falls Count Anywhere matches. We got Sarah Maple, who is the women's Royal Rumble winner, going up against the women's champion, Akira. This is a non-title match, but this is a preview of the match that they will have at Joker Mania. And bets are live. Place for match bet space zero for Sarah or one for Akira. Five by nurse space rents for one to a thousand jokers. But Sarah will be facing Akira for her title at Joker Mania. She won the the women's rumble, and the very next week she already said who she was going to compete. She said, I'm going to compete against the women's champion on the main roster, whoever that is at that time. There you go, Eager. Now you got some jokers. Making her way down to the ring. She has overall record of four wins and three losses. She is the Women's Royal Rumble winner. She is Sarah Maple. Time to bet three now. <laughs> you bet like T Monster does, Eager. 
He bets one. He tries betting halves, but it don't accept halves, so he can't bet <laughs> with halves. Making her way down to the ring. She has an overall record of eight wins and only four losses. She is the longest reigning Joker's Paradise Women's Champion. She is Akira. Akira's uh, almost, her record almost got broken by Maggie because Akira lost the title from, I forgot who it was, but Maggie won it and Maggie went on a tear with that title and almost beat Akira's record for the longest reigning women's champion. But thanks to a person named Gail, Gail just got the record and took the title off her before she could break Akira's record. And then Akira challenged Gail the very next week and won the title. And now Akira is back on top of the mountain. Man, we are flying through this match card. Again, this is a false count anywhere match, but it is non-title as they will have their title match at Joker Mania. So this is a preview to see if Sarah could possibly topple the champion. Bells ring the match is underway. We got Carnival type. Sarah transits to a side headlock and then transits to a hammerlock. Great technical wrestling by Sarah. I don't know who could win, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know either. Sarah and Akira has never fought one another, so this is a first time match. And as you can tell, Akira has the height advantage and the weight advantage looking at the two. And Akira's women handling uh, Sarah. She just tossed her out of that hold, picks her up, scoop slam. Forearm across the back. Sarah gets up, counter double tie up. Sarah backs up Akira into the turnbuckles. And the ref's going to have to step in between these two. Will we have a clean break? Fire standing as she observes this match. I just realized I never updated Havoc once since... Yeah, you've never updated him once since he's been on my show. Not once. And Sarah, oh, with the running knee to Akira. Sarah sets up Akira. Big old kick to the spine. Akira did not like that. She gets right up to her feet. Feet and a clothesline knocks there all the way to the ringside area. Oh, and Sarah blocks Akira. Kick to the knee. Sarah grabs Akira, has control of the neck and head, walks her over to the ring, tosses her half into the ring, half out of the ring, and before she can do anything, Akira gets up to her feet. Sarah grabs Akira, whips her into the turnbuckles face first, double knees to the spine, Akira drops, and now Sarah looks like she's going for the figure four. She is not going for the figure four though, she was just damaging the legs some. Big old roundhouse to the chest. Sarah has something to prove, she does. I mean, she surprisingly won. The Royal Rumble. She she won uh, in a surprise fashion. She won it. Oh, super kick into the Florida Keys. Can Sarah pull it off? Sarah does. If you look, Sarah comes up to like the mid back of Akira because of how short she is. Rose Akira onto her back. Goes for the pin. We got a one. We got a two. Yeah, really. Yeah, Sarah was not the favorite to win that. She came in, was it number 12? Thank you for the follow, Spartan Jesus 92 Welcome to Joker Days Innovations. Welcome to Joker's Addendum. Big old forearm to the spine. And Sarah dodges and kicks the back of the knee of Akira. Yeah, I think Sarah came in at number 12, I think. DDT connects or cutting edge, whatever you want to call that. And Sarah's climbing out of the ring. And she's going to do some toy in this match. She grabs a bat. Oh, and uses it on Akira. And then tosses it back out of the ring. Sarah brings Akira up to a vertical base. 
Grabs her, whips her into the rope. Oh no, into the turnbuckles. The ref almost got smashed there. That gotta hurt. I was exactly eager. I'm sure it did. Slap. And now she sets Akira up. And what is she doing here? Akira's up on the... Oh my god, double knees to the, the lower midsection. The pelvic area goes for the pin. The ref counts a one. The ref counts a two. And Akira kicks out at two. And Sarah can't believe it. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, keep in mind, Cole, the Sarah with the stomp to the wrist. Has her by the hair. Has the, the, the lock in place. Goes for the submission. Will Akira tap? Akira's trying to fight, and Akira powers out of it and fights out with those elbows to the side of the face. And yes, I'm going to use hashtag JJI when talking about Joker's underground or Joker's invite or any of our pay-per-views on social medias. Hey, it's all good, Tigray. I understand. Here's like, I bet for Akira, but I want Sarah now. And now Sarah waiting for Akira to get up. Oh, what a 1-8 or 360 elbow or uppercut, whatever it was, to Akira. Sarah brings Akira up to a vertical base, back into the Florida Keys. And Sarah's really handling Akira. I'm surprised. Akira grabs Sarah. She's had enough of Sarah's tactics, whips her into the ropes. Big old boot drops her. Akira brings Sarah back up to a vertical base. Oh, knockout punch, and Sarah is out. That could be it. Akira is now going to set up for the finisher. Oh, the punt. And if that knockout punch didn't knock Sarah out, that punt sure did. And Akira is not done yet. She picks up Sarah. Gut run power bomb. Oh, clothesline drops Sarah. Another clothesline. Heel kick to the jaw. Akira brings Sarah up to a vertical base. Knockout punch over a second time. This has to be it. Goes for the pin. There is no rope breaks. We got a one. We got a two and a no. Sarah kicks out and Akira can't believe it. And I can't either. I thought that was it. Sarah is a fighter. She's a little... She's got some fire in her. And Akira, once again, another punch. That'll be like the third knockout punch. Going for the second punt. And this could be it. It has to be it. Akira goes for a pin. We got a one. We got a two. And Sarah is your winner. Dirty out of the blue. <laughs> And Dirty, let's get your spin. Since you're tuned in, I gotta get you two spins. No, just one. Just one spin. Because let's see what you get for your spin bonus. I didn't say Sarah was the winner. I didn't even see what that bonus was. What was that spin bonus? I didn't even see it because I was looking at chat. We're gonna spin again. Seventy-five. Well, okay, my bad. My bad. Akira is your winner. <laughs> Dirty. And uh, Dirty, you got your uh, match win bonus there. 75 Jokers.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the final stop for Team Monsters Retirement Tour before Joker Mania as he is going head to head against the great one, Jonathan Justice. In a bets are live, place your reservation bet space zero for Jonathan or one for Team Monster. Five by Nurse Space Monster, one to a thousand Jokers. And I hope I set this up right. I think I might have uh, mistaken uh, uh, the match. I think I forgot to put it as no count outs. And this is our main event of the match card, but we still have three more matches after this. As we got the Queen and King of Summer and then the JJ broadcast. Making his way down to the ring. He has an overall record of five wins and four uh, losses. He is a former JJ Broadcast Champion. He is a former King of Spring. He is the founder and general manager of GC Dub. He is the great one, Jonathan Justice. We flew through this match card. Holy crap. We've had a lot of quick matches, though. A lot of them. And the history between Team Monster and the Great One is Team Monster was like a seven-time ch cruiserweight champion on GC Dub. So every match that the Team Monster has done on his tour, retirement tour of JGI, he's had history with the, his competitor. Making his way down to the ring. He has overall record of nine wins and eight losses. He is one quarter of the Joker Pro Tag Team Champions. He is one quarter of the Blood Brothers Federation faction. Faction. He is the Joker's World Heavyweight Champion, fighting one of his last matches here on JJI. He is T Monster. Team Monster lost his match last week against the Dirty One. He, he lost via count out and we did a rematch and then he lost again via uh, pinfall. Alright Team Monster, that's fine. The bell is ringing. The match is underway in this 1v1 a normal match. It should be no count outs, but I don't remember if I changed it or not. Hopefully I did. We got a counter will tie up and the ref steps in between these two. We have a clean break. Now a counter will tie up and then great one transitions into a wrist lock. Team Monster transitions into a hammer lock. Great technical wrestling to start things off. And great one obviously has the size and height advantage against T-Monster, but don't count T-Monster out. Connor Noble tied once again. T-Monster backs great one up against the ropes. Looks like the ref's going to have to step between these two again. And he does just that. Oh, but that was not a clean break. Great one with the slap. And then went for a clothesline and missed. T-Monster grabs Jonathan Justice Wilson into the ropes. Drops below him. 
Leapfrogs over him. Leapfrogs over him again. Great One's had enough of that. Great One grabs T-Monster. Snapplex connects. And T-Monster avoids the forearm by rolling out of the way. Misses with the running knee, though I think Great One swatted it. T-Monster with the snapmare on Great One. Brings him up. And a headbutt drops him. Roundhouse to the back. And a kick to the ribs. And yes, I am now accepting applications for Season 4. If you have a character that you would like to see on JJI for Season 4, make sure you fill out that form. I'm allowing one male, one female, and one tag team. Oh, what a move by T-Monster. T-Monster was stomped to the wrist. And Hyper extends that back. half Iron extends that arm and shoulder. Kick to the chest of Great One. Great One with the spear takes down T-Monster. Goes for the pin. The ref counts a one, and T-Monster kicks out at one. Let's get some hashtags. Thank you, T, in chat. He may not be in the square circle anymore after Joker Mania for JJI, but he will be around. Drops the knee to the lower back. And again. And a third time, really focusing his attack on the back of T-Monster. And still, the knees to the back. Great one drags Team Monster towards the middle of the ring and goes right back to attacking the small of the back with the knee. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a question to ask you guys since we got a good amount of viewers. After we finish the King and Queen of Summer and the JJ Broncos Championship, would you guys like to see the final qualifying matches for the next competitor and last competitor for the King and Queen of Summer? Let me know in chat. And Grey One just really focusing on that back. I don't know why Grey One's doing this to one of his friends. Team Monster finally gets back with the arm drag. DDT plants him. All right, Eager, I'll put you down. Actually, I'll put you down now. Oh, what a super kick! Team Monster's had enough of the knees to the back. Great One crawls out of the way to get some space between him and Team Monster. Goes for the kick. Great One stops him and double X handles to the face. Hyper extends back. Stomp to the bridge of the nose. Bounce off the rope. Shining Wizard to the back of the head. This is, Things are not looking good for T-Monster now. Picks him up and drops him. Spikes him on the back of his head. Goes for the pin. Is this it? We got a one. We got a two. And no, T-Monster kicks out just in the nick of time. Great one's lining him up again to do that spike pile driver. And Team Monster fights back. Team Monster grabs Great One. Oh, what a backbreaker across the knee. And now Team Monster is getting trying to get the crowd behind him. Up oh, flying elbow. Another flying elbow. And a Pele. Team Monster trying to mount a comeback here. Quite 
Team match of a stomp to the wrist of Jonathan Justice. And the lefts to the face, followed by a spike in his face into the canvas. And now Team Monster is lining him up to put this one away. Claymore kick. Drags him away from the ropes to go for the pin. T goes for the pin. Will T get the dub? We got a one. We got a two. And no. Great one kicks out and T can't believe it. Jonathan tosses T Monster over his shoulder. Oh, and Team Monster wisely rolls out of the ring, but he slides right back in at the feet of jo Jonathan Justin, but manages to get the kickoff, followed by the knee to the face. Team Monster brings Jonathan Justin up to a vertical base, kicks him in the midsection. Looks like he's going for his finisher. He connects. He needs to drag him away from the ropes before going for the pin. He does just that. Goes for the pin. Will T-Monster get it? We got a one. We got a two. And no. Jonathan just kicks out again. What a match. T-Monster brings Jonathan Justice up to a vertical base. Kicks him in the midsection. DDT spikes Jonathan Justice. Stomp to the knee. He drags him away from the ropes once again. Another stomp to the midsection. Now, t is going to let some aggression out. Let's go, T. Let's go. <laughs> and T is going to... No, he decides against. He's going to drop the double knees to the back, giving Jonathan just taste of his own medicine. Oh, and Jonathan tosses T over his shoulder. Now, Jonathan is singling the deletion of T-Monster right here. Drop kick. Jonathan just brings T-Monster up to a vertical base. Grabs him. He connects. Goes for the pin. Is this it? We got a one. We got a two. And Jonathan Justice is your winner. Team Monster, you gave it your all. You gave it your all. You almost got him. Jonathan Justice was just a little too strong. That's right, Team Monster. You got Josh Kane next for your last ever match on JJI at Joker Mania this Saturday. <laughs>